Next, I'd like to invite the Chief Executive of Simply Exchange, Ms. Maura Wong, back on stage for some final remarks. Maura. Ladies and gentlemen, after four days, 50 speaking sessions, 150 speakers, 38 countries have shared their insight and knowledge on walking walkability, we have now come to the end of the conference part of the Walk 21 Hong Kong. Of course, tomorrow they are the workshops. On behalf of Civic Exchange, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the people and organizations that have supported us and helped us put this event together. Of course, there is Walk 21, Jim, Bronwyn, Rodney, your intelligence, your passion, your resourcefulness are tr truly impressive. If you think about what a few people can do to inspire thousands, maybe tens of thousands around the world, uh, I congratulate you. Um, secondly, of course, is uh, Hong Kong Jockey Club Charities Trust, our lead sponsor. Uh, you have enabled so many nonprofit organizations, including us, to uh, stage something meaningful and important. Uh, thank you for your support. But um, what I really want to mention is a special group of people. I'm going to call out their names, and could these special people please come up to the stage? Um, when I finish calling out the names, I would like to ask the audience to give them all a big round of applause. I might be the public face, but these are the real people who have been working for months and toiling for weeks to make this conference a success. Without further ado, here are the unsung heroes behind Walk 21 Hong Kong. First and foremost, Simon Ng, who brought this conference to Civic Exchange. <laughs> Stephen Molino Webb. Cindy Chang, Cindy, Jennifer Frisinger, Denise Chan, Sunny Lam, Donnie Fong, Maria Christina Duval, Corinne Lai, Rena Rollison, the quintessentially team members Sharon Wong, Tiffany Look, Jasper Chu, our social media team from Earthwatch Institute, Benita Chick, Belle Lee, Jonathan Ho, Capital Advertising Team members, Penny Yip, Cecilia Jung, and last but certainly not the least, the man who brightened up the past four days of our conference, Mr. Danny Lee. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these are the people who made this possible. Thank you. I won't cry, but I could. <laughs> it has been a long journey, and I want to join Maura's appreciation of these people, because we sit in England, and we chuck stuff at them, and they chuck it back better. And so that's from Walk 21. The inspiration, the support, the sweat, blood, and tears. We brought you a very small, but hopefully tasty gift from England to share over the next few days. Ignore the bag. In fact, if you want to take out the contents, you're welcome. And I particularly have a very small gift for Maura. Yes. Walker's shortbreads and Thornton's chocolates. It's a bit of an easy offer. <laughs> the thing that perhaps some people don't understand is that Maura's only been on this job a few months. And she stepped in and she stepped up. So this looks very small, but beautiful things come in small boxes. And on behalf of Walk 21, thank you for stepping up. Thank you very much indeed for that. Um, now I'd actually like to invite uh, Imelda Chan, the Head of Charities at the Hong Kong Jockey Club, uh, up on stage. Where's Imelda? There we go. And can I also bring up Maura Wong back up on stage, please. 
more exercise, more walking. Uh, and we would like to offer Imelda a souvenir and a token of our appreciation. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Jim and Imelda. If you could uh, take a seat, and more if you could stay on stage, I'm for Thank you very much. More hard work. Um, I'd now like to invite the University of Calgary's John Brown, the Associate Dean of Research at the Faculty of Environmental Design on stage, to accept Hong Kong's handover souvenir. <laughs> and if you'd like to open what is in the box. These are <laughs> these are embroidered slippers just for you to take back to Calgary. I'm sure they'll fit. Uh, more of back to your seat. Actually, this is more than embroidered slippers. This is the last man-made uh, embroidered shoes shop left in Hong Kong. This is the third generation. We we found it in Jordan. It's the only shop left. And uh, this is the silk embroidered shoes uh, that hopefully uh, symbolize both walking and Chinese culture. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the stage is yours, thank you. Thank you, Maura. That's, that's very touching. I will take that back to the president of the university. They might fit her. I, I, I think. So, as Rodney said, I'm going to be really brief. Uh, as Rodney said, there have already been the Walking Dead, the zombies, so I think in operatic terms this is when the fat lady comes out and sings, right? So, we're going to be really, really um, quick. The first thing I wanted to do was congratulate Mara and Simon, Stephen, and everyone at Civic Exchange on being such gracious hosts, not only putting on a great conference, but just being so warm and friendly. So thank you for that. It's been a pleasure to be here. You're leaving big shoes for us to fill. It's been wonderful to spend time in your city, and as I was preparing for these remarks, I was trying to think about what is the connection between Calgary and Hong Kong. There's 7 million people, what was it, 40% live over the 14th floor? We've got 1.2 and 95% of us live on the ground floor and maybe the second floor. Um, but I think what brings us together as challenges is the notion of the public realm and the quality of the pedestrian environment and in one there's an overabundance of people and density and stuff and on the other side we're struggling to get our stuff dense enough that we can all walk from one place to the next and so I think the challenge of walkability is also the promise of walkability and what I particularly found moving in the last the last uh, couple of hours was this notion about humanizing our environments and happiness and and, and I think that that's a key piece and I think an interesting development of the whole walkability strategy. My city, Calgary, is at a pivotal point in its history. We are shifting collectively, slowly, uh, but, but um, with diligence from a car-centric world into one that is more pedestrian. And now I'm going to show you a 94-minute video clip. No, I'm just kidding. It's two minutes. Can we... The city of Calgary is home to 1.2 million people who live and work in 5.1 thousand square kilometers of the foothills of Alberta, Canada. Calgary is one of the fastest growing cities in the country, having grown over 41% in the past 15 years. This extraordinary growth gave rise to a city that was characterized by urban sprawl and autocentric design. Calgary is a city in the midst of transformation. 
poised to redefine itself as one of the great walkable cities of the future. Walk 21 Calgary will investigate how walking can connect and transform a city and how we can be a catalyst for that change. Join us to reflect on the lessons of the past. Examine social dynamics. And strike a path for emerging walkable cities around the world. Walk 21 Calgary, reconnecting community together. I'm honored, thank you, I'm honored to be here to represent the University of Calgary and I am part of a 23-person contingent that made its way from Calgary to Hong Kong, included 14 graduate students in architecture and urban design as well as nine researchers from a variety of different disciplines, many of whom made presentations at the conference. This is the first time, or will be the first time, that the Walk 21 conference has been hosted by a university. And as Peter Newman so aptly said uh, just a little while ago, universities have the capacity to do things in slightly different ways than cities do. Um, I think that this conference is a unique opportunity for, as Esther said earlier this morning, to explore an interdisciplinary approach to walkability. What interdisciplinarity is our university's commitment and focus. Our conference group brings together researchers and academics from architecture, urban design, planning, landscape architecture, public health, social work, kinesiology, and engineering. And breaking down the silos of faculties and disciplines is something that we are committed to do, not just in conference planning, but even at the highest levels. Our vice president research has uh, set aside $150,000 for interdisciplinary research uh, to be done in the quality of the built environment, which is a real first. Uh, and all of the projects in order to be funded have to be interdisciplinary. We're also interested in taking that interdisciplinarity into our, to our students and to create this, the next generation, not only of professionals, but of, of citizens of cities that value walking. We're also committed to breaking down the biggest barrier of all, which is the ivory tower of traditional universities. We're connected to our city at an administrative level through the city of Calgary, through neighborhood groups, and the citizens of Calgary. And we are engaged in all sorts of ways with the, with the city as we collectively build this walkable future. The city of Calgary has developed a pedestrian strategy, which is designed to improve walking in our city. The strategy is called Step Forward and is a plan that promotes the culture of walking and strives to create a safer, more inviting and better maintained pedestrian environment. The City of Calgary recognizes that investing in pedestrian network development makes our communities more walkable, which supports local businesses and strengthens the social fabric of our neighborhoods. Together, the University of Calgary and the City of Calgary are pushing this notion of interdisciplinarity even further by coordinating the Walk 21 conference that we are hosting at the university with the International Play Association conference that the City of Calgary is organizing the week before. And I wanted to acknowledge Kathy Wong, who is in the audience today, who is the Hong Kong board member of the International Play Association. And we're really interested together with Walk 21 in exploring the way in which the rights of the child and the rights to walk can be interconnected. I think that's about everything I have to say, but if you need one more reason to come visit us in the third week of September next year, I have two words for you. Well, three words, Banff and Rocky Mountains. <laughs> and we will be planning various events that will get you out into the Rocky Mountains. And there's a particular reason for that, and that is at the time that we are holding our conference, we will be inaugurating a new Commonwealth walkway in Banff that is part of Canada's 150th 
anniversary. So that's a, a big celebration and we're looking forward to, uh, to, to enjoying that at the same time as we're having our conference. So with that said, thank you very much. I will see you all when I get the opportunity to speak first in September 2017. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed, John, for that, and I hope you enjoy the slippers, truly. <laughs> and with that, the conference is over the end. Thank you so much indeed, everyone. Thank you.